Hey folks, this is James Tracy, memoryholeblog.org, and I wanted to do a brief video concerning some information that was just sent to me a short while ago concerning uh, messaging public relations advertising study on COVID-19 vaccination that is being conducted at Yale University. Uh, this is from the clinicaltrials.gov website and they it looks as if from this document that they have recruited some 4,000 participants for this study where we, they will look at messaging persuasive messaging in order to get people to take the COVID-19 vaccination and uh, this is quite a, uh, a detailed and intricate study that is being conducted I will provide a link to this uh, in the the program notes below so you can look at it uh, for yourself. But anyway, the study description states, this study tests different messages about vaccinating against COVID-19 once the vaccine becomes available. Participants are randomized in one of 12 arms with one control arm and one baseline arm. We will compare the reported willingness to get a COVID-19 vaccine at three and six months of it becoming available between the 10 intervention arms to the two control arms. In other words, the control arms are um, the um, participants that receive a innocuous message that may have little, if anything, to do with uh, vaccination, specifically the COVID-19 vaccine. And then the, the remaining groups are groups that will be presented with one particular persuasive message. And what they're trying to do is to gauge the effectiveness of these messages so that they will eventually be able to produce commercials, well, public service announcements um, and public relations and probably all sorts of other things to inundate people, to shame them uh, into taking the vaccine. There are, uh, they call these interventions or treatments given the template here at clinicaltrials.gov and this is all being done at Yale University this uh, the, the funding may have come from the US government or from any number of entities I don't see that there is a specific funding source here uh, but um, the intervention treatments are described as a personal freedom message first of all the condition is vaccination COVID-19 in other words one is bereft of, one is without the uh, COVID-19 vaccination, and they need to get it. So the intervention is the message that they're going to be putting out there, and they're testing these messages now. A group of 4,000 participants, there are 15 groups altogether. I know I mentioned 12, but I believe that there are a total of 15 groups. So that means about 265 per people uh, per per group, per study group that they will be showing the message to and then they'll be evaluating them, probably giving them questionnaires or interviewing them or the equivalent. So the, the uh, various messages are the personal freedom message, the economic freedom message, the self-interest message, the community interest message, the economic benefit message, the guilt message, the embarrassment message, the anger message, the trust in science message and the not bravery or not brave message. Let's look at some of the descriptions of these. Of course, the control group, it says that they receive a, a message on the cost and benefits of bird feeding, right? Just innocuous. In other words, it's something that's not really related to what, what the subject matter is, what the objective is of this, of this study. Personal freedom message. One fifteenth of the sample will be assigned to this intervention, which is a message about how COVID-19 is limiting people's personal freedom, and by working together to get enough people vaccinated, society can preserve its personal freedom. Economic freedom message. One fifteenth of the sample, in other words, 265 people, will be assigned to this intervention, which is a message about how COVID-19 is limiting people's economic freedom and by working together to get enough people vaccinated, society can preserve its economic freedom. Going down the line here, I'm not going to read all of these. You'll be able to look at these yourself. The guilt message, this will likely be a big one, right? Because we're all going to be shamed uh, if, if we uh, question the vaccine and, and uh, 
do not uh, seek to take it. One fifteenth of the sample will be assigned to this message. The message is about the danger that COVID-19 presents to the health of one's family and community. The best way to protect them is by getting vaccinated and society must work together to get enough people vaccinated. It, then it asks the participant to imagine the guilt they will feel if they don't get vaccinated and in turn spread the disease. Trust in science message. Well, let's look at the anger message first. Anger message, one fifteenth of the sample will be assigned to this message. The message is about the danger that COVID-19 presents to the health of one's family and community. The best way to protect them is by getting vaccinated and by working together to make sure that enough people get vaccinated. Then it asks the participant to imagine the anger they will feel if they don't get vaccinated and spread the disease. And down here, um, well, there's the trust in science message where the vaccination is backed by science. One doesn't, if one doesn't get vaccinated, that means that one doesn't understand how infections are spread or who ignores science. And then the not bravery message, one fifteenth of the one fifteenth of the sample will be assigned to this message, which describes how firefighters, doctors, and frontline medical workers are brave. Those who choose not to get vaccinated against COVID-19 are not brave. So uh, this is, uh, it looks as if this study is, is largely been completed given the, the, the language uh, here. It began in early July, July 7th, July 8th, and uh, they will likely be uh, continuing to, um, to process this information and uh, present it to the relevant parties that are going to be overseeing the funding of the public relations and advertising and promotion of this vaccine. Now, this is probably one of several alternatives that, um, that are being entertained by the, um, the parties of the entities behind uh, getting this vaccine out, which does include the, the U.S. federal government. I think that there are a number of uh, uh, kind of uh, suggestions, the belief out there, which is not entirely well-founded, that this is something that is going to be forced on the public. And I don't think that that, in fact, will be the case. It will be something along the lines of a flu vaccine. But also with th this whole notion of shaming, this notion of social conditioning we've been, we've been undergoing for the past several months and wearing face masks and everything of the like. Uh, and so there will be much greater pressure involved in, uh, in getting this uh, vaccination in order to return to everyday life and uh, somehow it might be attached to some sort of identification and you will be excluded from certain public places if you do not have uh, the uh, the vaccination. So there are, there are a lot of things to work out here, um, but it, it looks to me as if there's going to be very strong persuasion once the vaccine is um, is released, is available in late uh, 20, early 2021, three to six months out, they're going to be looking at surveying the population to see is who uh, who seeks uh, to have the vaccination, who is questioning it, the efficacy of it, the safety of it, as, for example, Robert Kennedy Jr. and others have. It's very unusual to have a vaccine developed in such a short period of time and one that is actually safe. As we uh, we know from the experience of, uh, of previous vaccinations, the the vaccination program from the early the late 1970s, where uh, people um, developed Guillain-Barré syndrome and uh, some people were killed with as a result of this uh, max vaccination program uh, during that time. In fact, there's even a 60 Minutes uh, episode that was devoted to that uh, back when journalism was was had a, a bit more integrity than it has today. Anyway, just wanted to apprise, uh, apprise you of that. And um, once again, you can um, follow the link in the show notes below to look at this, uh, this documentation for yourself and see what they are doing in terms of promoting the COVID-19 vaccination. Till next time, take care. God bless. This is James Tracy, memoryholeblog.org.